G'day guys, my name's Nick and welcome to my channel Low Range Nick where I do videos about four wheel driving, accessory fitting and maintenance for your four wheel drive vehicle. So in today's video I'm going to be fitting a snorkel to my Suzuki Jimny and I'm going to go through all the steps necessary to carry out the install. So the snorkel that I'm going to be fitting to my Suzuki Jimny today is the Mega Jimny Super Sleek Snorkel 3.0 kit and this comes with a custom intake pipe that fits perfectly with the snorkel. So now that I've unboxed the super sleek snorkel, what you can see here is the actual main snorkel body that we mount to the body panel of the vehicle. Here we have our custom intake pipe with our hose clamps and our silicon joiners. We also have a little bracket here for mounting the snorkel to the bodywork and a fitting kit with some Allen keys. Now one of the best things about the Mega Jimmy Super Sleek Snorkel is the fact that you don't need to drill any holes or damage any panels to install this to the vehicle. So this is actually a panel replacement snorkel and what that means is it replaces this panel on the vehicle and fits into this section seamlessly without any drilling or cutting. So I'm pretty keen to get this snorkel fitted to the vehicle so let's get stuck into the install. So for the first step we need to remove our wiper arms. So to do that, we just wiggle off and remove this little rubber cover here over the nut. Now that exposes a 12 mil nut, which we need to loosen off, and then we can remove our wiper arms. There we go. And what I'm going to do is loosen this nut off until it's almost at the end of the thread. So it's just on there. And then I'll start to wiggle this wiper arm off the spline down here. So I can do that now. So what I usually do is just lift the arm up and then you can just wiggle them free like that and then we can remove the nut and take it off there pretty easily. So now that should come off without any dramas. There we go. And now I'm just going to repeat the process for the other side. So I'll just take this little rubber cover off. And now I'm ready to pop the bonnet and start working in the engine bay. And now I'm ready to move my way along this panel and remove all of these plastic clips. So I can do that with just a flat blade screwdriver. So I just need to get down in behind that head of the clip and that should just pop out. There we go. And we will do the same for the rest all the way along the front of the panel. So now we just need to take off this little rubber hose here on our T-piece for our washers. So what we'll do is just unclip this from the little clips holding it on, pop that out, and with a bit of a wiggle, we should be able to get that off. And now I'll just pop a few more clips out, and then I'll take this whole rubber line with my panel when I take it off. And now I've just chucked a couple of towels in between the panels and then underneath where the bonnet is there, because I'm gonna pop this panel up and it's held down by plastic clips. So I'm just gonna get my hand underneath it and pop it up on either side. I'll just work it out. I'll put my hand between this panel here. There we go, that's popped up on this side. And same with this side, I'm going to put my hand underneath the panel and put my hand between the bonnet here so I don't damage the panel. And then just give it a bit of a pop up. There we go, popped up. So now what I can do is remove this from the vehicle and put it aside. So now I'm ready to remove this panel from the bodywork. So what I need to do is remove a 10 millimeter bolt up here, a plastic clip and a Phillips head screw. So let's get stuck into removing this panel from the vehicle. So now I've got this trim panel off. So the clips on it down here, down the bottom were pretty tight, so I did have to give it a bit of force to pop them off. And it's definitely very lucky that I had my rags in here because it did come off pretty quickly. And those rags definitely saved the panel work from any scratches. And now I can remove this little plastic trim retainer here. So I'll take out the two Phillips head screws and remove it from the vehicle. And I also want to remove this 10 millimeter bolt that holds in the top of the guard here. So now I've just mounted this bracket onto the snorkel. 
So I've just used the two little Allen key bolts here with my spring washers and flat washers. And that's all tightened down now. So now the snorkel's ready to fit to the vehicle. Now for the next step, I need to remove the two bolts holding the bonnet hinge onto the bonnet on this right hand side. And I'm going to get a helper to hold the bonnet up while I remove this hinge from the bonnet and slide the snorkel in. So now I've put the snorkel into its position and I'll put it over the bonnet hinge. You can see it sits quite nicely on the guard here and it replaces that panel there. So it's almost a seamless fit into the panel work on the vehicle. So now we just need to work on securing this to the vehicle now. So we've got some bolts down here to go in, some bolts and a clip up here to go in, and then we can work on the piping. So the back bolt on this snorkel just goes straight through into the factory thread on the panel work there. Now the front bolt here we need to put through and we need to put a nut washer and spring washer on the back here through the guard. And now I can tighten down all my bolts and secure the snorkel to the guard. So now my snorkel is bolted down and secured to the vehicle and it's a really nice fit in here, it fits perfectly. So there is one little thing that we need to attend to and that's the fact that the snorkel is a no modification snorkel so that means that it's not bolted or secured to the top here. And what that means is there's a tiny little bit of movement here and it ever so slightly rests on the paint. So what I'm going to do to combat this is just get a little bit of felt tape and this is a tiny little piece and just slip that down in behind the snorkel and stick it to the back there, just to give it a little bit of an air gap in behind the snorkel there and onto the panel work. So that's gonna protect it and also make sure that it's not rattling around, you know, when you're on the highway and that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna refit this screw into the plastic retainer here, just so there's no holes in the panel work. And that'll just cover that hole up. And now I can fit my plenum trim back to the vehicle. So I'll just try and slide that in there really gently and also give it a bit of protection with my towels here and we'll get that back into position. Alrighty guys, so now I've finished fitting the actual snorkel body to the vehicle and reassembling all my trims and panels. Now I'm ready to remove the air intake to the air box and fit my custom pipe. So what I need to do is remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and then wiggle this fitting off of the air box. Now I'm ready to fit the custom intake pipe. So now I've fitted the intake pipe to the snorkel and to the air box and I've just adjusted it a little bit so in and out of these joiners to find the perfect spot and I got it sitting pretty good so I'm pretty happy with it. So I've got enough clearance down here on this AC pipe and I also have enough clearance here to get the master cylinder cap off as well. So I'm going to tighten down all my hose clamps and secure this onto the vehicle. So there you go guys, now I have the Mega Jimny Super Sleek Snorkel 3.0 fitted to my Suzuki Jimny. It's going to give me that bit of added protection when I go off road. It's also going to be a great insurance policy if I ever come to any deep water crossings. So thanks a lot for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys.